finally went too far. I finally went too far and it was life changing. I consider myself a decently experienced DXM user by now. I've been using on average two to three times per week for about seven months. I leveled out at around 700 milligrams as my usual dose, but have gone as high as 1300 milligrams on a few occasions. Nothing came close to my most recent trip, which was enough to make me stop cold turkey for the foreseeable future. On Saturday, I dosed 700 milligrams HBR and about 540 milligrams poly. Because of tolerance, it was a pretty standard but fantastic trip. I don't really get CEVs, music appreciation, or any physical body sensation slash impairment anymore. But the headspace and vivid imagination is still as strong as ever. On Sunday, I dosed another 1600 milligrams of poly. Slightly stronger and longer trip. Was very satisfied. On Monday, I decided to trip one more time. I debated all day about how much to take since consecutive trips tend to build up on top of each other. But in the end, I decided that my tolerance was high enough and I chugged another 1600 milligrams of polysterics. I figured this would be enough for a long lasting and solid second to third plateau. Not too strong, not too weak. 1600 milligrams second plat okay sorry guys i'm just dumbfounded by reading this i guess he's super addicted to this stuff but anyways boy i was wrong after chugging the three bottles of delsum i watched amy in a cage for the third time in three days it's a fantastic dxm film highly recommended while tripping by the end of the movie, I was already feeling the effects stronger than I anticipated. I decided to take a shower. This was when I first started to realize something was off. The sound of the water was all wrong. It was as though I could hear each individual droplet make a vibrating noise on impact. It was almost like hyper annoying parade of kazoos. Everything past this point just gets weirder, but I'll do my best to put it into words. While in the shower, my headspace became unsettlingly foreign. My memories of my life seemed oddly distant, like they weren't real. I felt extremely disconnected from feelings of familiarity in a way that wasn't normal for my DXM experience. It probably didn't help that I had spent the last two trips watching documentaries about quantum mechanics and heat death of the universe and was already way too deep in existential thought. Fast forward a couple hours of trying and failing to watch movies and play games and I eventually transitioned into a blur that would define the rest of the experience. My thoughts became increasingly chaotic. They didn't feel like they were my own. I really felt like something foreign was violating my mind and I couldn't get away. Especially the thoughts gave way to full-blown audio hallucinations. Any words that emerged in my brain could be heard as foreign voices in the room. I don't remember much of what I was actually doing beyond this point. I was so focused on the trip that I think I mostly just sat and looked around and occasionally paced between rooms. Eventually, for the first time ever with the XM, I started getting open eye visuals, and holy crap, were they strange. I first noticed them while sitting in the living room. The people in the apartment above me were running their sink, and there was a steady trickling noise in the pipes of my wall. I could see the noise. For every drop that trickled, a little yellow triangle appeared in the upper left corner of my vision. I watched as the little triangles trickled, overlapping each other, and started filling up the upper left quadrant of my visual field. That started to get weird, so I went to the bathroom to pee. As the pee hit the toilet water, I could, again, see the sound. Little red squares popping up and filling up my visual field. I blinked a lot to get them to go away. My chaotic thoughts picked up pace, just nonsense rambling in my head and accompanied by voices I could hear. Suddenly, like some kind of weird edge detection goggles, what looked like red yarn appeared wrapping around every defined edge of all the objects in view, kind of like if you're drawing a cartoon. 
And then a creepy Barbie head popped into view. It was looking at me, and its mouth moved with the voices I was still hearing. Then more Barbie heads popped up along the yarn strings and filled up the defined edges of everything in the room, and the voices multiplied for each new head that appeared. I started feeling very claustrophobic with all these heads. They were freaking me out, so I tried to go to sleep. I'm not sure if I fell asleep or if I was just tripping with my eyes closed. It's hard to tell the difference. But I remember spending what felt like hours trying to figure out if I was still alive. I couldn't see anything except little flashes of white light in an endless void. I couldn't feel my body. I was just consciousness drifting with zero external input, minus the occasional gray-white blob of light that appeared in my view. I eventually concluded that I was dead. I couldn't move, I couldn't feel my breathing or heartbeat, I couldn't see, I couldn't hear. I was literally just thoughts. I wondered if something else would eventually happen or if I was doomed to just float alone in this void thinking for eternity. Then more white blobs appeared and started to form shapes. A room started to form right in front of me. Undefinable structures taking shape. Then something moved from behind one of the structures. I got this sense that it was sentient, but I couldn't tell if it knew I was there. It was kind of shapeless, but somehow distinct from the other structures. I'm not a religious person, but I remember thinking to myself, is that God? Not in the Christian sense, but just didn't have another word for it at the time. Plus, I was quite obviously not in a coherent state of mind. As soon as I thought this, I felt myself taking a deep breath, and I could feel my fingers twitch. I wasn't dead after all. My body was back. I managed to open my eyes and stand up, and what followed was hours of pure hell. All the chaotic thoughts came back tenfold, along with the audio hallucinations. But what was worse, I now had full-blown visual hallucinations too. I could literally see every single thought that entered my mind, and most of them were not pleasant. I was being violently mentally raped, and there was no escape. Even if I closed my eyes, a new room would form in front of me, and the hallucinations would continue. I kept losing track of whether my eyes were open or closed, because everything looked just as real either way. I kept opening them and closing them, trying to figure out which room was the real room. I eventually just curled into a ball and tried to endure all these voices shouting. I remember at one point, the word boot kept appearing. I just kept thinking and hearing boot, 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 and kept seeing a big oppressive boot stomping around my head while I crawled around trying to get away from it. But at some point, this mental assault finally started to fade, but nothing seemed right. I couldn't recognize anything. I kept looking at posters in my room, pictures of my family, and none of it seemed familiar. I began to conclude that all my memories were false, that something bigger was going on, and my whole life up to that point was a lie that I was finally starting to see through. I started to feel anxious and sad as everything I thought I knew became more distant and intangible. I remember staring for a long time at a particular poster on my wall thinking, that's not what it looks like. I had a different one. This isn't what I remember. I started to wonder if I was transported to a new dimension or timeline and if anyone that I knew even existed here. How could I function if none of my knowledge applied to this world? That's the last distinguishable moment I can remember before I faded in and out of sleep until eventually waking up soberish. When I finally did wake up, I felt like I had come home after a decades long voyage and the first thing I did was thank my body for being strong enough to survive it. That's about as well as I can communicate it for now. I've really felt a positive change in myself afterwards. And not just in an afterglow sense, still kind of processing everything, but I hope this is an interesting read. I probably won't be joining you guys in the Dextroverse again for quite some time. Another interesting story, this one was written by Kyrosel on Reddit. Appreciate your story, and thanks everyone for watching.